A question I get asked often is, what was the best class that you took when you were in college? And since I'm a finance guy, most people think that it was investing or maybe some sort of financial class, but the reality was none of the above. The class that actually gave me the best resources, that gave me the best skills for my career and for my life is actually gonna be very surprising. I'm gonna share what that class is right now. Welcome to Wealth Hacker TV, the channel dedicated to teaching you new ways to grow wealth that is not taught to you in schools or by your parents. I am your host, Jeff Rose, and I'm talking about college. Now, we could have a whole debate about whether college is worth it. Is it the greatest scam you know, in modern day history? Like that is a whole other point. I can sit here and tell you that I needed college. I was a bit immature back in my day and I needed force education, higher education, so that I could mature before I actually went into the workforce. So let me just go ahead and put that out there. But when it came to the best class, the best course that I took, I was a finance major, had a finance degree, had a minor in accounting. So many assumed that, especially with me being a certified financial planner, that the best class that I took was a finance class or some sort of investment class. And all of those played into it, like all of those were very helpful. But the class that actually gave me the greatest skill set that I ended up using in my career and still use to this day was sales. That's right, sales. Now, I don't even know if it's a class they still offered. It's one that I didn't know a lot of business majors take because it was more of an elective. It wasn't required uh, to get the finance degree. It wasn't required to get the accounting degree. It might've been like a lower level business class, but you know, it wasn't required. So this was more of an elective class, but there was just something about it that appealed to me. So I signed up. Now, another thing you need to know about me and my journey of becoming a financial advisor, starting an online business was before all that happened, you know, I was in the Army National Guard. I was doing that while I was in college, but I also had a part-time mall job. And for at least, I think it was three years, maybe a little longer, I worked at GNC in the mall. So GNC is the vitamin supplement company. And with GNC, they had a really good incentive. Like they paid you, yeah, minimum wage, but if you sold certain products, you got paid a commission. Let me tell you, like I was pretty good at it, but I knew that I could improve. And I think that was one of the reasons why this sales class appealed to me. So I was very comfortable being in front of people. I was very comfortable giving speeches. So I didn't need that to give me courage or confidence to speak to people, but I did want to learn how to master the craft. So that's when I saw sales as an option. I'm like, yes, I am taking that class. One thing that made this class very unique, and I don't know if every sales class is like this, especially in college, but we only had like two major projects to do the entire year. Everything else was just a lecture. And I don't remember even taking any tests. I don't remember taking any quizzes. I just remember these two projects that we had to do. And what these projects were is that we had to sell something. We had to identify what was a product or service that we were going to sell. And then we had to sell it to a real person, which was another classmate. And the teacher, the professor would then record us selling to this person, making sure that we had adopted the sales principles that he had taught us throughout the semester. You know, and it's one thing to give a speech, to get on stage and give a speech or you know, to give a speech in a class, but to have a sales presentation be recorded, like there was just a little bit more pressure on me compared to those other things. And keep in mind, this was well, way before YouTube, so I wasn't used to doing YouTube videos or any types of videos for that matter. So having a sales video presentation like recorded, like I ain't gonna lie, like I was very nervous. And it's funny because I remember one thing that I sold, but I don't remember the second thing, but the first thing that I sold as part of my presentations was kind of easy because I chose to sell protein powder, you know, whey protein powder. Why? Because I worked at GNC, I was working out, so I knew the product very well and I felt comfortable choosing that, but I hadn't really ever sold it the way that he had taught us. So I was excited to see 
how would I change my sales pitch? How would I change my delivery? You know, following the, the, the step, the methods that he had taught us. And let me tell you, like it was different and it was so much more helpful. And I did use that to my advantage when I went back into my, my part-time mall job. And let me tell you, I sold a lot more protein, a lot more multivitamins, a lot more GNC gold cards after I started using this method. So why was this sales class so helpful to me? And why would I recommend to you, if you're watching this, if you're still in college that you should take a sales class. Well, here are my three biggest takeaways from taking this class and what I learned from it. So the first takeaway that I got from taking this sales class was I had to slow down. If you watch some of my other YouTube videos, you probably noticed that I talk very fast. When I get really excited about something, I just get really excited, I start talking really fast. Sometimes I slur and sometimes I got all this saliva in my mouth and I just keep talking, 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 talking. But this taught me to slow down, to take a breath, to make sure that I enunciate exactly what I'm saying. But it also helped me to collect my thoughts to make sure that what I was going to say was going to be said in the best way possible. Because sometimes when you talk too much, you talk too fast, it can be very intimidating to the person, to the customer, to the, to the client, to the prospect who you are selling to. So just to take a breath and slow down. And it also invited that prospect to engage in conversation because they could feel like they could actually get in a few words. So slow down, something that I need to remind myself often when I'm doing these videos. The second big takeaway that I got from taking this class was learning to identify what were the needs that this person was trying to do, trying to achieve, trying to accomplish. And the one way that you do that is that you ask a lot of questions. You ask a lot of questions, just finding out exactly what are you trying to accomplish? What other roadblocks have you occurred trying to do this? Is there anything else that you've tried? Is there anything else that you have concerns about that this might not work out for you? Uh, is there anything about this product that concerns you? Have you tried something else like it? You just ask these questions so that you can learn more about them. And you just ask questions and you shut up and you listen. And in that, I learned that the more that you can get the other person to talk, the more that they're going to trust you, the more that they're going to open up and share exactly what they want, their, their desires, their greatest concerns, and asking the right questions. And this was a skill that I applied when I became a financial advisor. There were times like I didn't know everything about their situation as far as like, I didn't know everything about estate planning or IRA distributions or how to, to pick the right ETFs or the right stocks. Like I was still learning my craft and learning the right way to do financial planning. But the way that I was able to combat that and the way that I was able to earn their trust was asking a lot of questions, especially open-ended questions. You don't wanna ask questions where they can simply respond with a yes or no. You wanna ask questions that engage conversation and allow them to speak and truly open up. All right, the third big takeaway was how I could take the needs, the goals, the concerns they had, identify what those were, repeat those back to them so I had a clear understanding of where they were, what they were trying to accomplish, and then show them the product or service that we had to offer was the best fit for them and was just learning that to help them see what we had could it help them achieve their goals. Because oftentimes you see this in sales, and I'm sure this has happened to you time and time again, where you go in and you ask a quick question and that salesperson is shoving their product or service down your throat as if like, oh, here you go, this is what you need. Well, how do you know that? You haven't asked me any questions yet. Like you need to know more about my situation before you can recommend it. So by asking those questions and getting a deep understanding of what they wanted to accomplish, when I was ready to present the, my solution, you know, our product or service to them, they were ready to buy. And I can remember, I, I can remember like it was yesterday, I had a, a guy come into GNC and he was trying to gain weight and you know trying to put on some muscle weight. And I ended up talking to him for like almost 15, 20 minutes, which is almost unheard of in a mall job. And I remember I ended up selling him some protein, some creatine, some multivitamins. And he ended up spending like over $150, which was like a huge ticket item, you know, there at the mall. And I can remember my coworker, who I think was my boss at the time, he was just like, 
what what were you asking him? What were you guys talking about? Like, I could never talk to a, anybody, any customer for that long. And I'm like, well, dude, that's your problem. It's not mine. And that's why the guy just spent $150 because he trusted me because I got to know him and knew exactly what he was trying to accomplish. And I could also relate to some of the concerns that he had. And he could feel that in our conversation and through you know me going through the sales process, which he didn't feel like it was a sales process because it was truly conversational and it was me getting to know him more than any other apparently GNC salesperson or any salesperson I ever had before. Maybe you're not a business major. Maybe you're not a finance major. You're probably thinking, I don't need sales. I don't ever want to be in sales. Like salesy people just annoy me. They scare me. But here's the thing, right? I don't care if you're a finance major. I don't care if you're a teacher. I don't care if you're going in as engineering. Like sales is a part of you. Like you are always having to sell yourself, whether that is selling yourself to get a raise, selling yourself to get a promotion, selling yourself to get a new job, and to understand some of the basic principles that allow you to understand the sales process, that allows you to put yourself in their shoes, understand where they're coming from, will increase your, increase your chances of achieving whatever it is that you are trying to achieve. So don't give me the excuse that sales is not required in your career or your field. Like you need sales, you need to understand sales. And that's why I would suggest if you're still in college, taking a sales class or reading books on sales, listening to podcasts on sales, so you get the idea, you get the concept. So yes, taking a sales class in my college days was a huge help in my career and help in my college job and then in my career. And even what I do now, like sales is a part, a lot of what I do. It allows me to communicate with people and ask the right questions and it takes away that feeling awkward of like, man, what do I say? What do I ask? Like, I know that because I've been doing sales now for over almost 20 years and I love it. And you get to know people, they trust you and it's just a fun relationship. So that's the class that had a huge impact on me. But what about you? What was the class that you took that had a huge impact on your life, on your career? You know, sales was amazing for me, but maybe there's another class that you took that you can look back on and realize, dang, I'm glad I took that because it has helped me so much. What was that class? Share in the comments below so that others can know how you benefited from taking this class. All right, y'all, once again, this is Jeff Rose reminding you that it's your money, it's your life, and only you can make it awesome. Until next time, peace.